Hey guys, welcome back. I'm here at the clinic. Welcome back to a day in the life. But today is quite different because I'm going to show you the treatment room and I'll show you the equipment that we have in the treatment room. So, please keep on watching. So guys, the treatment room is just right next to my room. It's very convenient. So if I need to do some procedures such as injections, cleaning of wounds, all those stuff, it's all done in this treatment room and it's just right next to my room. I'll show you quickly. And I've got something to show you guys. Watch this one. It's magical. So, this is what we call liquid nitrogen spray. We use this one to remove warts or any skin, um, you know, skin, um, skin issues such as small um, moles or, yeah, usually warts. And this one, you just spray it. This is liquid nitrogen. The only thing is that it's empty. But you can actually replenish it, refill it with a bigger container. There's a lot of liquid there's a lot of liquid nitrogen there. I'll show you. And then I'll use this one to get some liquid nitrogen. See this? See that? That is liquid nitrogen, guys. Magical, isn't it? Oh, that was liquid nitrogen, guys. You can see it. It's smoking. It's it's actually very cold. It used to freeze warts. So if you have warts, um, then we can use liquid nitrogen. If you have skin skin lumps, something like that, that can be treated by liquid nitrogen. You can Google it. 
what's the liquid nitrogen for, then definitely that can be used for you. You need to speak to your GP. Now inside my room, I'm going to show you two equipments and I'm going to tell you what they are for. So let's go. Alright guys, this is what we call the otoscope. Otoscope, this one. As you can see, there's light there. So what you what we what we usually do is we grab one of these, okay, and then we will attach it to here. And then the otoscope is used to to get some visualization of your ear canal or eardrum. So this is used using the light, okay, to have a look at the inner parts of your ear okay usually a lot of people would complain of ear pain uh, blocked ear um, and most of the time it's due to infection inflammation or if they went swimming you know water went into their ears or wax build up of wax so we can we can see them using the otoscope and then basing on the diagnosis, then we will formulate a treatment uh, such as antibiotics, um, eardrops, or anti-inflammatories, or painkillers. Because sometimes if you if you have pain in your ear, uh, sometimes if you have infection in your ear or inflammation, it can be painful as well. And then obviously you already know what this one is for. This is what we call the blood pressure machine. This is an automatic blood pressure machine. And then this is this is our examination light, guys. So this is where the patient will lie down if we need some if we need to do some examination. Okay, so we use this light. We just turn it on. There you go. Yeah, and then we adjust it. There you go. So let's just say if I need to examine a patient's um, genital area. And I need a good visualization and I need a good light to you know to see it clearly what's happening there then I will use this light I can adjust it like that like that like that like that so this is this is actually very helpful for me turn it one off then I have some some swabs here for pathology this one is for as the as what it as what the name says a feces so if if uh, i need you to have a stool sample because you are you, ha you have uh, blood in your stool then we need to, we need that be um, investigated and then we have different swabs here okay we have uh, internal swabs for uh, we can use this for vaginal swabs if if we have i mean if you have some you know vaginal infections then i can do that and then you you lay flat here and then we can use the the light and then do the swab okay and then we have this this is actually um, a sterile cutter or a small knife especially if you have boils or blisters or infection or a wound that's full of pus and the pus need to be drained then i use this one okay the stitch i mean the the cutter the the small knife and then we have syringes we have bandage and then we have cotton cotton buds and then i have here the uh what you call this the tympanic we call this tympanic tympanic because um we this is to check temperature using the ear that's why it's called tympanic okay there you go and before you use it you will attach this one of these okay um so that the machine will give you a, an accurate temperature reading attach it there and then push the button this button and then the machine will give you a, a the temperature And then um, blood sugar machines. 
that I give out to patients if they have diabetes so that they can start checking their sugar levels at home. So there you go guys, just a quick update uh, about the equipment that, that we usually use in a private practice in a, a, in a clinic. So yeah, thank you for joining me and I'll start see you again on my next video. Bye. Yeah. Yeah.